First off, I want to give some massive shout outs real quick. Shout out to the people that have supported the live stream so far. Shout out to the members of the live stream, to the super chats and all the support I've been getting throughout this uh, time period. I greatly appreciate you. Very much appreciate you. So there's a shout out to all of you. See, you see, Sen could be grateful from time to time. Sen, Sen knows when to be grateful to certain individuals. But if you're new to the channel, please consider actually don't even consider it do it subscribe hit the notifications we got some great stuff here variety channel that's what we are variety channel but this is a variety right now that we're going to talk about that is not for the faint of heart and it is quite disturbing to say the least and this disturbing turn of events all started with somebody backstabbing their quote-unquote friend plotting their demise for over three years that individual that sick individual is called the narrator and he stabbed his friend Carson in the back, rootlessly. All for what? To try to get a point across? To try to get some clout? Who knows? But there's so much wrong with this individual. Their logic, their attempted manipulation, them using their health as an excuse. Those are just some of the fundamental things wrong with this individual. But then we go a little deeper, a little deeper, and the rabbit hole just, just, just plummets and it, and it just gets, oh man, you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, but you know what? We went through it on the stream yesterday, I did get a bit heated, because hearing these kinds of things and, and the fact that people have the gall to still try to cast misfortune on others while they hold all these secrets is just beyond me. It's just not right. So what did this individual known as the narrator do exactly? Well, I'll be linking a Google document, I know, the dreaded Google document. But hear me out, this one seems to have some legitimate weight behind it. Now, it's been in the works for a bit. I've known about this, but I kept quiet about it. Didn't feel like blabbing. Why? Why would we? Why would we want to tip off narrator or anybody else that would want to provide damage control for him? There's no reason to do that. So we waited, I waited, I waited, and then I got the uh, link to the Google Doc, and I went over it. And what we found was, was pretty dark, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'll be linking it for you guys to see in the description. You guys can go take a look. Things get a little too real if you know what i mean they get a little too mm, it'll make you angry in a way it depends it depends on on what kind of person you are you know but generally it will make you very angry uh, at this whole situation as a whole especially if you uh support carson it will make you angry right and uh and that's uh that's just, just that's it that that it, it made me mad but there were some to summarize it in the TLDR format, and that's called uh, Too Long Didn't Read. Narrator uh, had some inappropriate uh, discussions uh, while he was uh, at, a, at an, uh, a very kind of old age, we'd say. Let's say, like, was it not 18, 19, around there? You know, he was already headed into the uh, full on adulthood stage, I'd say. That was the time period the narrator was uh, doing inappropriate things with. Uh, well, let's say people that weren't even Ivory's age. As allegedly, this document points out two stories in particular of this happening. None of which the narrator has denied up to this point. It's already been over 24 hours. However, I do want to point out that the narrator did deny certain things at one point, And that was about his Discord server. And then that was later proven to be a lie on his end. He blatantly lied about his Discord server. So... If he's willing to lie about that, he's most likely willing to lie about this. Although, to his credit, he hasn't addressed these allegations, like the prior allegation. Which I would imagine is because these allegations are a lot more deadly than the prior one. This isn't just about him being weird on a server anymore, right? This is about some whole next level shit that really puts the whole accusations on Carson and the whole narrative of how horrible he is to shame, really. If anything, I know people want to say just because, oh, narrator did all this stuff, doesn't disqualify Carson. Look, you're already grasping at straws enough as it is with Carson. I really highly advise, if I was your, if I was your lawyer, guys, <laughs> if I was, you know, I would highly advise that you take the name narrator and Carson out of the same sentence, I highly advise that you take 
the narrator's testimony against Carson and never use it against Carson again. Because it doesn't matter if it doesn't disqualify what Carson did. Because what Carson did is nothing compared to what the narrator did. And what Carson did is still a gray area where you guys can push, you guys can be SJW to the max and push for it to be a big deal but we already know the majority of the normal people right the normal people in the world they know it's not a big deal they know it's not so let come on you already lost you already lost on that front you're gonna lose on the optics front too yeah you are you are so i highly advise that you get a new quote-unquote victim to try to uh, go at carson because narrator that's not a good look for you guys. 